What's up YouTube, Javi here at Dos Tacos Motos doing my first official unboxing on this channel. And it's gonna be the Fido e-bike slash scooter. Now they call it a scooter, but honestly, it's more of an e-bike in my opinion than a scooter. It just doesn't have the, the chain ring and the pedals like an e-bike, but everything else says e-bike to me. So for this video, all intents and purposes, we're gonna call it the Fido e-bike. So let's get started. Drunk, I never seen you clearer than now. We're flying high, floating somewhere up in the clouds. We're going out of ourselves, can you feel it? Almost like I don't know if it's real. Cause when we're doing our thing, we're the wheels that won't stop turning. So take me on a trip. trip. All right, guys, so like I said, today we are unboxing the Fido e bike. This is a dual suspension, 250 watt rear hub motor e-bike. Now they call it a scooter, but like I said, this really isn't a scooter in my opinion. It doesn't have a deck, it doesn't have the basic you know, properties that I think an e-scooter should have. So to me, this is definitely an e-bike minus those pedals and whole chain ring system. Now the reason the Fido caught my interest was a, it's a very inexpensive, complete e-bike package for under a grand. You're getting a battery, you've got dual suspension. It is ready to go right out of the box to ride. Now it is only 250 watt hub motor. However, my main interest, like I was gonna say with this e-bike was for my daughter. She currently rides a scooter. And while she does enjoy riding the scooter quite a bit, she does get a little bit scared going down hills. So we want to go ahead and see if we could find an e-bike that she'd be comfortable riding. Now the hard part was finding one that's easy for her to handle, not too big, not too heavy, and still has, you know, a decent enough, a decent amount of power to move her along. Not anything crazy, but you know, hoping around 20 miles per hour, which is what she currently gets on her scooter. Now the Fido e-bike seemed to fit the bill on all those requirements. It does come in at about $850 for this one. It's the QS1 version that has the dual suspension. They do have a cheaper model around $600 that does not include the full suspension. Now, one of the things that caught my attention right off the bat was how light it was. Uh, honestly, it has no weight. It has a 36 volt, 10 amp hour battery in it with that hub motor and it still weighs like nothing. I think the weight is somewhere around 40 pounds. Now size wise, this bike is perfect for my daughter. She had no problem getting on it, touching the ground and feeling nice and secure. Now the Fido does come with some cool little features. It's got a nice front headlight that you can switch on and off from the switch on the handlebars. We've also got a nice integrated horn here and we've got your display. Now the display is real simple. It just basically tells you uh, your battery level and it's just a graphic showing your battery level with a few bars. It does not show you your voltage, does not show your speed, nothing fancy like that. So just keep that in mind. The throttle is a half twist throttle, which, you know, I'm more of a fan of a thumb throttle, but with that said, I definitely prefer the half twist over a full twist. Now, not only is the Fido nice and compact and light, but it also compacts further got a little hitch on the handlebars that lowers the handlebars down even further which is going to make something like this so easy to transport if you don't have a truck or a large car with a lot of space this can easily fit in the rear seat or in the trunk and still give you space to carry your other stuff so that is definitely a plus you got a nice cushiony seat that feels actually really comfortable when you're riding it nice and cushiony and just the right amount of support now under the seat we have the charging port this is a 36 volt 10 amp hour battery and it comes with a 2 amp charger so you're looking at about five hours to fully charge from dead brake wise we do not have hydraulic brakes here but i wouldn't expect that on something under a thousand dollars with dual suspension and it's ready to go right out of the box we do have decent mechanical brakes here with 160 millimeter rotors but you know enough jibber jabbery i'm sure you guys want to see a little bit of ride footage so for this ride footage i'm going to go ahead and ride it myself so 
Uh, I'm 5'10", 220, don't expect <laughs> top performance, but I wanna give you guys an idea of what to expect. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it out, ride it, nothing too crazy, put the GoPro on and uh, put the speedometer gauges up. That way you can see what kind of performance I am getting. So without further ado, let's go ahead and go out and ride it, guys. All right, guys, we're here with the Fido test ride. Uh, we're just gonna do a couple flats here at the park. And there's some gradual rolling hills. We'll test out the hill climbing ability. I've got the 1R here, 360 camera on the bike. Hopefully it's secure enough and it's not going to be falling off. Get you guys some 360 shots of what I look like riding it. Makes it a little bit more interesting. So one thing I forgot to mention in the overview was that it comes with two keys. Um, you will need this to activate the alarm system and to actually turn on the device. So to turn on the device, you just double tap the lightning button here. And there you go. You got that nice little display. It's probably hard to see right now. Uh, but it shows that we are indeed full and that's all it shows <laughs> very simple uh, also I forgot to mention this little red button right here that activates the cruise control so hopefully you can see that uh, cruise control button you push it down to activate it and then you go to your desired speed hold it for five seconds and you are set to go yeah cruise control will take over but for now we'll go ahead and set that all Alrighty, so we'll just start with some nice little flats here. Well, for a 250 watt motor, it feels pretty peppy. <laughs> At least I'm flat right there. So, I'm not full throttling it here. Probably going, I don't know, anywhere between seven, nine miles per hour. It's a really nice ride that uh you know there's not a lot of travel on the suspension for either the rear or the front but it's just enough that it makes it great for street riding obviously it is not going to cut it for off-road but uh, you know you could always look to upgrade it if you want a little bit better dampening system but stock hey it's not bad especially for a thousand all righty so so nice little straightaway here. I am maxed out. Okay, hit a little bump here. Slow down. Uh, let me get all the way back here and hit this uh, straightaway. Let's hopefully reach top speed by the end here. So from a dead stop. Now it's not crazy acceleration very gradual but again i'm 5'10, 220 i don't expect monster performance out of this so right now that's about max full throttle and now we are coming to a nice little incline nothing too crazy maybe four or five percent uh, you know getting me up it nicely nice little ride i gotta admit this seat is super comfortable i can definitely see myself riding this for you know a couple hours in complete comfort definitely one of my favorite features is that this nice big seat and the dual suspension alrighty so the hill is getting a little bit steeper here we are slowing down I suspect we'll slow to a crawl here I might even stop completely, but we'll see. Come on, little guy, you can do it. It's giving it everything it's got. So it's probably, you know, 7 8% grade right here. And this is max throttle. And that's about it at my size. Now, my daughter rode this for about 15 miles yesterday. And... You know, she's a fraction of my size so for her it did a lot better on hills and reached a top speed of around 18 19 um, and handled hills you know it wasn't going fast but in the upper single digits I'm probably in the low single digits right now but it made it it didn't stop 
Got to give it some credit. Turn here. It probably killed half the battery <laughs> on that little uphill adventure. But it did it. I must look ridiculous on this thing, but I don't care. <laughs> it's still fun as hell. Uh, the other thing I forgot to mention, this is a geared hub motor. Um, it's decent. I'm uh, much, you know, I'm a big fan, obviously, uh, of the direct drives. If you see my circuit e-bike, I got a three kilowatt direct drive hub on there, and I absolutely love it. Uh, that is not on here, though. However, I do plan on upgrading this e-bike one of the great things about the Fido is that it's a well-built frame and it's perfect for modifying and upgrading so I plan to pretty much tear out all the internals battery controller um, motor these mechanical brakes and I'm gonna go ahead and build a custom 60 volt 25 amp hour pack and then put dual 40 amp controllers and dual 1000 watt hub, hub motors now this bike is meant for my daughter so i will tone it down obviously uh, right now she rides a dualtron mx the top side around 37 38 at top speed but i have it programmed to only go about 20 22 miles tops but it does that whether it's on flat ground or a extremely steep hill and she absolutely loves that it does that it's her only complaint about the stock Fido that it does not handle hills well at all but in a few weeks that will definitely change so if you're interested in seeing what this can become be sure to hit that subscribe button and check out future videos on the future of this Fido alrighty we're headed back here just want to do a quick ride I can feel that the acceleration you know is now taking a little bit of time it's not as peppy as it was so you know for some of my size on the current specs on this you are it is gonna take a hit on the battery but it's still picking up speed and once again <laughs> so comfortable this is so comfortable I can't get over how comfortable it is it looks so tiny and it appears that it's going to be uncomfortable but no way i actually love this ride it's nice and relaxed i can totally picture myself cruising down the boardwalk and oceanside on this we did that yesterday actually and my daughter did that and like i said she just absolutely loved this thing but she does want it to uh be a little bit better on uphill performance which i don't blame her once you get used to something like the dual tron it's hard to go back all right guys that's gonna do it for me i hope this gave you a good sense for what a stock Fido qs1 is capable of doing um again this is a 36 volt 10 amp hour 250 watt geared hub motor setup with decent dual suspension very nice all right guys let's head back to the backyard all right guys i hope you enjoyed that little ride demo and give you a good idea for what you can expect performance wise on the fido now i gotta admit well it is a small bike and i do look kind of funny riding it. It was actually a lot of fun to ride. It's super comfortable and I can definitely see myself riding this if I'm like at a campsite or somewhere where it's not too extreme of an area and just kind of cruising on it. It's a very comfortable to ride and um, you know it's actually more fun <laughs> than I thought it would be. Now my daughter absolutely loved it. Uh, there are a few modifications you know that I do want to make uh, that are not currently on it. First off, I'm definitely gonna change out the hub motor and put dual hub motors on it. Probably go nothing too crazy, 1,000 watt each. Uh, that way it's got a little better performance and especially hill climbing ability. It'll be able to take hills no problem with a dual motor system. And obviously with that, I'll go ahead and upgrade the controllers and add a new battery pack, probably a 60 volt, 25 amp hour, somewhere around that. So 
get good range and decent power. Now, those are all future upgrades that I do plan to do. So if that's something you wanna check out, be sure to hit that subscribe button and I will do future updates on that build. But for now, this is gonna be a perfect e-bike for my daughter to ride and feel safe and secure, safer than she does riding on her scooter. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave some comments down below. And remember, if there's any additional information that you would like, check out the description box down below. I've put links to Custom EV's website. He's the one that customizes these things and really builds them to order to whatever specs you want. So I'll drop his Instagram down below and his website if you want to reach out and inquire more about the Fido e-bike. All right, guys, till next time. Thanks. Bye.